this video today all started with me wanting to make my own pie and I thought where better to start than make my own puff pastry. So this little video is just to show you how you can make your own puff pastry at home. And it's not as difficult as you might think to make your own homemade puff pastry. You just need a bit of time and you, just to follow the different stages, the different steps and you'll be absolutely fine and there's nothing better than a wonderful golden artisan puff pastry. So let's dive straight into the video and I'm gonna show you how you can also do your homemade puff pastry. First step to this homemade puff pastry is to combine all of your ingredients. I've got 150 grams of white bread flour and 150 grams of plain flour. Now these flours are chilled, okay? So chilled flours, put them into your bowl, add in two large eggs as well. Mix this up a little bit. And also 100 ml of cold water. Use a fork to start with, put it on um, a lightly floured work surface and then use your hands and you just want to bring this in to a nice dough. Just work this between 5 and 10 minutes. It will get a little bit sticky. You don't necessarily have to add more flour, you can just keep working it and eventually it will all come together and you've got this lovely kind of golden dough. Now, you want to put this in the fridge. Ideally, you want to leave it overnight, but minimum kind of seven hours. Put it in the fridge. I started this process off in the morning, you see, so it's quite straightforward because you can do this first thing in the morning um, and then just leave it for the day and then come back to it later, which is fine. The next stage is to flatten this butter out into a big rectangle. You want to be aiming for about 40 to 20 centimeters. I've used some baking parchment here. Use your rolling pin and just batter this down. I can now take this dough out of the fridge and roll this out into a rectangle, about 60 to 90 centimeters wide. Now put the butter on the dough so it covers the bottom two thirds. And then that third of the dough which is left, you can just fold it over and pat it down. I can then fold over the other part. So far I've got my dough, I've got my butter, it's incorporated together. Now I'm going to do what we would call a turn. I'm going to use my rolling pin starting from the centre and moving outward and I'm just going to flatten this into a rectangular shape. And then I'm going to fold it on itself to create your first turn. I can then wrap this up and put it in the fridge for about an hour. Now all that is left to do is to do one turn per hour. So my second turn I'll take it out of the fridge, I'll again roll it out and then I will fold it in on itself on both sides to create that turn. And all that's doing is distributing the butter and the dough, the pastry nice and evenly so eventually after a few turns or so you're going to get all these wonderful layers. In a professional kitchen, they would use their knuckle just to make it indent in the dough so they know exactly how many turns it has. For fun, I'm going to do this as well so I can keep track of how many turns I've done. So once you've done this four times, you have the most amazing puff pastry ready to go. You can leave this in the fridge overnight. When you're ready to use it, just roll it out nice and thin. You'll see the kind of marbling you have with the butter and the dough, and that is gonna create the most wonderful, delicious pastry. If you haven't liked the video already, maybe smash that like button. And if you haven't subscribed, please subscribe to the Foodie Kitchen Review I'm making the most amazing British inspired food every week and you wouldn't want to miss that. And until next time, fellow foodies, happy cooking.
This video today all started with me wanting to make a British pie and I wanted to start it off with an excellent foundation and that is puff pastry. I wanted to make a video to show you how to make puff pastry step by step. You can definitely do it homemade and you get a fantastic result, a wonderful artisan flaky pastry, lots of lovely layers of buttery puff pastry. Amazing. Nelly, can you go out? Because I'm trying to record. Come on. Not good for dogs at the moment, is it? 